It's the Stitches, and today I am going to declutter my accessory collection. It's been getting a little bit out of hand lately, and I just feel like I don't want to own this much stuff. So I'm just gonna thin it out, get rid of what I don't want anymore, and yeah. So first I'm just gonna organize everything. Just the process of organizing and separating out what's what is like... Why, why do I have so much stuff? Like I barely wear any accessories, let alone all of the just junk that I have in here. So I'm gonna start with earrings. First I have this fluffy pair of pink pom-poms. I also have another pair that are exactly the same, well, almost exactly the same, is this white pair. I actually shortened this pair, so they were originally both this long, but I didn't like this length on me. Um, I don't know why I didn't shorten this pair, but I really love the way that these look, but they're very dense. These earrings are very cute, but they're just very heavy. They've got a really stiff filling on the inside and they're very unpleasant to wear. So I think I'm gonna open them up. I think there's a seam here that I can just open and I'm gonna see if I can take the filling out and stuff it with something lighter, maybe like some yarn or something. That way that these are easier to wear and if I can't manage to get them wearable, then I'm probably just going to upcycle them into something. I don't know yet. Next I have a pair of vintage clip-ons. These are just little blue domes. They kind of remind me of like gumdrop candy and they're just clip-on. It's probably for the best that they're clip-on because these are very, very big and they kind of just swallow my entire ear. Um, it looks kind of odd, but honestly, I really love the way that they look on. They just kind of remind me of Barbie earrings. It just gives the same vibe in my ear because they are so big. So I really like these, I'm gonna keep them. Next I have these earrings, these are from Target. I bought them because they were very like 60s mod deco and I kind of like them, but they just kind of, they're just not quite right. I think these I'm going to declutter. Here are some vintage hoops. These I think are from the 80s just like my other, my last pair of vintage earrings. I really love the matte texture to these. They're not shiny. They're just like a matte painted metal. And they're also just the perfect shade of yellow. These also perfectly match my yellow belt. So I am going to hang on to these. These are for keeps. Continuing with the yellow theme, this is another vintage pair that I thrifted. These match the hoops and I usually wear them together. So I will be keeping these as well. This is a handmade pair. They're just little paint palettes. I think I'm going to declutter these because I've literally never worn them. I liked the idea of them, but they just don't work with any of my outfits, so I'm gonna pass these on. This is a pair that my boyfriend's parents got me, so I just got these. They're handmade, and I really love them. They're like uh, burned and painted wood. So these are little, little bits of wood. These were handmade by somebody in Hawaii. So I'll hold on to these. This is an old pair of Claire's earrings. They've just got like the shaky glitter inside. This is another pair that I just don't really wear. And they're also just, you know, Claire's quality. So really just low quality. I don't really like these, so I'm gonna pass them on. Another pair of vintage clip-on earrings. These are kind of scuffed up, but they look really good on camera. I really love these. They match all of my other pearls really well, so I am going to keep these. This is another handmade pair. This is just a, uh, they're like little gumball machines and the little candy inside moves around. I never wear these, but I really like them and I want to wear them more. So I'm gonna give these a few more months and if I don't wear them, I'll probably declutter them, but I still I really love them. I don't know, they're just really cute. Some more Claire's earrings. These are little conversation hearts. The paint on them is a little bit like, you can see that the paint is really 
poorly applied. I honestly, I don't like these. I thought I would like them a lot more than I did and I really don't. I like conversation hearts just in general, but I think I'm going to send these off to someone else. I'm gonna declutter these. This is a thrifted pair. They're just little flowers with little yellow rhinestone insides, or is it green? It's like a, it's like a lemon limey color. They're just like shaped metal. They're kind of interesting. I have not had a chance to wear these yet. I just recently thrifted these, but I feel like in the summer I will get some more opportunities to wear the, these. So I'm gonna hang on to these. These I got in Portland. They're just big juicy plastic stars. I also really love these and I'm gonna hang on to these. They've got good like pop cave, fairy cave vibes. Betsy Johnson earrings. These are probably my favorite earrings. I wear these a lot and they match a lot of my other like metal jewelry like this. So I'm gonna hang on to these. They're probably my favorite like dangly earrings that I have. They're very, very alarm, okay. And then I just have a bunch of little stud earrings. Honestly, my stud earrings are kind of like all over the place. I have these. These are, I don't even know if the camera can focus on them. They're so small. They're just little hearts with teeny tiny rhinestones like attached to them. I never wear these. I don't really like them. I am going to uh, pass these on. I feel like I have another pair of these in pink somewhere. I am going to find those and they will also be passed on along with these. These are synthetic opal studs. They're a little bit tarnished, but I they just need a good scrub with some toothpaste and then they will be absolutely beautiful again. I really like the opal. I don't know if uh, you can see. They're not opal light. They're actual like real <laughs> real synthetic opal. It's where they just take like the little itty bitty bits of opal that's left over from other shapings and like make it into a stone. So it still has that like fire that real opals have. But again, the details are so tiny that I don't think the camera is really picking them up. And then these are supposedly pink tourmaline. I, I'm pretty sure that they're just glass, but they're just little pink stars. I really like these. They go with the Betsy Johnson earrings really well. And they're a good like middle hole stud. I have like three, a row of three piercings on my ears and these go in the middle studs most frequently. I have, this I also got in Portland along with the big plastic stars. This has a meat somewhere, but I can't find it. And it's not like there are a lot of places for it to hide in my house. So I honestly have no idea. Maybe it's like in a purse somewhere, but I'm going to keep this. Hopefully I will find it's meat somewhere in my house. And then the last pair of earrings I have to show you guys today are these handmade strawberries. These I'm going to upcycle into something else. They have the same problem as those furry ones and that they're just too heavy. I have a whole like DIY thing on these and I think that tutorial works better for smaller, smaller strawberries, but um, I think I'm going to try to make these again, but instead of having them being solid polymer clay, inside of this, I'll have like a ball of aluminum foil. Instead of it being all clay, the clay will be molded around a ball of aluminum foil and that will make them lighter and easier to wear. So yeah, if you wanna make these earrings using that tutorial and you want to make a pair this size, put some aluminum foil on the inside. Don't make it solid clay or else they will be too heavy. So these are the earrings I'm keeping. These are the earrings I'm getting rid of. And these are the earrings I'm upcycling. Next, we have a bunch of hair bits. First, I have this set of like fruit themed pins. Despite the fact that fruit is very on brand, I am going to part with all of these. I think I'm gonna keep the strawberry. Eh. Honestly, I've tried to wear the strawberry so many times and failed at it that I think I am going to also pass on the strawberry. I'll just pass on the whole set. These can go elsewhere. These were a gift, so I'm not really sure where they're from, but I think I'm just going to list all of my accessories in one big lot on Depop. And then if anybody wants just one specific thing that they can message me. So these are some old 90s hair clips that I've had since my literal childhood. I would be very upset 
if I got rid of any of these because I did get rid of a lot of them and I am very upset that I got rid of them. So these I'm going to keep. I especially love the little teddy bears. They're so adorable. And I have two different colors of the cats playing the violin. And then I have some little rabbits. I think the rabbits are my second favorite. And then I have the little birds. I think this one is a particularly popular design of these types. And then I don't know where the mate to this duck went. I probably lost it when I was an actual child, but I just have the one of it. These are some more hair clips. I think these are from Claire's. I am going to keep the purple ones and the blue ones because I genuinely use both of these, but I think I'm going to part with the green ones. I think I'll actually just upcycle these. These are good for just like gluing something on. So these will go into my upcycle pile. Some miscellaneous ones that I've had around forever. I'm gonna... I'll keep this little bow just because it's cute and it was a gift from somebody forever ago. So this one I'll keep. This one is vintage but I will let it go because I only have one. I have these embroidered felt hair clips. I'm going to pass on the lime, but I'm going to keep the strawberry. Some random bows. I'm going to declutter this bad boy just because he doesn't go with anything that I own. I think I'll also declutter this holographic one because I have a pair of holographic shoes and I have a holographic backpack, but I don't really wear this. It's got a pin on it. And I could use it as a pin on something, but I just, I think I'm over holographic stuff. So I think I'm going to let this go. And then I use this like little fairy K number quite a bit actually. So I'm going to hold on to this one. And we have some handmade pieces that were given to me by Cheeky Sparkles. I'm going to keep this one. I've actually used it recently. And then I also, these are honestly some of my favorite hair clips that I own. These are really cute. I love to use them to hold on this um, little Lita headdress that I, I'm also got stuck on my carpet that I am also going to hold on to. And then I have a couple big bows. These I'm keeping as well. They're both handmade. This one is also a pin, so it goes on to my pink Lolita JSK. Almost forgot about my scrunchies. I actually use these two, so I'm gonna keep the blue one and the pink one, but then the green one and this little like galaxy sparkly one can both go. So these can be passed on. Hair stuff I'm keeping, hair stuff I'm getting rid of, and then hair stuff I'm upcycling. Next I have rings, just a small collection of rings. The first one is this Betsy Johnson ring that I'm pretty sure is supposed to match the earrings. I really love this piece. It's a, uh, it's one of those like stretchy rings. So eventually it will like fall apart, which I'm not happy about, but I will enjoy it while it survives. These are some semi-precious stones. They're both very tarnished, so again, I need to take a toothbrush to them and scrub them up a bit. This one is a little blue topaz, and then this is just some dyed agate. They're both very special to me, so I will hold on to these. This one I will be getting rid of. This is an old Holly Tea Time design. I really, really loved it when I was into like Bittersweet Lolita and Pastel Goth and stuff like that, but I just haven't worn it in literal years, so I'm gonna pass this on. And then these are all some big chunky resin rings. I'm going to part with most of these. I'm gonna pass on this one and this one. They were both very experimental and I didn't like the the way that it came out. The surface just feels kind of odd. So those can be decluttered. These stars I don't really wear ever, so they can also be decluttered as well. Very fairy K. And then I have these two hearts. I think I will keep these because I actually do wear the hearts occasionally. So we have the rings I'm keeping and the rings I am decluttering. Next we have some unused pins. First up is this little corduroy bow that I made. I'm going to keep this because it perfectly matches my little corduroy dress. This one I got off of Etsy. It is so adorable. It's a little needle felted bunny. It's so cute. I love it a lot. It's got the little 
layered felt underneath it. It goes with a lot of like pastel cult party key looks, so I'm going to hold on to this. This is a band pin from Scarling. I still listen to Scarling, but I think I'm going to pass on the pin. This I got for free with a WC item. I am going to pass this on as well just because I don't wear it. An old 90s pin. I, the color doesn't go with anything in my wardrobe, so I am going to pass this on as well. I have a small collection of Olympia Zine Fest pins, so... The 2015 pin, the 2016 pin, 2017 which a camera doesn't want to focus on, 2018, and 2019. I also have one of their Up For Trades pins. I'm gonna keep all of these because um, the Olympia Zine Fest is very near and dear to my heart, so these all stay. Next I have a couple pins from my shop. I'm gonna hang on to these just because they're a little bit beaten up and I don't think that they would be able to go back into the shop. This is an Astro Puke pin that says, that's my purse. I don't know you. Great Bobby Hill reference. Keeping this. Here's a Pusheen pin. It was from one of their like blind bag things from a long time ago. I am going to declutter this. These are a couple pins I've had for a little bit. They can both be decluttered. There's a cat with what I assume is a little vinyl record, and then there's a bunny with the... Uh, I don't... I don't know what that's supposed to be. These are a couple pins from a shop called All Bad Days, which unfortunately does not exist anymore, but I'm going to hang on to them just because I really like them. And then finally we have a Penelope Gazin butt club pin, and I also really love this one. I'm gonna be keeping this. So we got the pins I'm keeping. Most of these will probably end up on a jacket sometime soon. And the pins I'm getting rid of. Next, we're gonna go through my necklaces. First up, I have this little like vampire apple from Wawi. I really love this piece. I got this charm for free when I ordered a little mini planter from them and I actually wear it quite a bit. Choker number one has this little flower with a rhinestone in it. I rarely wear this, and when I do, it doesn't really look good on my neck, so I am going to part with it. Choker number two, same deal. It just doesn't really fit my neck properly, so I'm going to pass this one off as well. Next, we have a resin heart with some glitter in it. This one I'm also going to rehome. I just don't really wear it ever. It's just a little resin dome with some glitter. Here's another Claire's poorly painted... Uh, conversation heart necklace. I want to push myself to make a better version of this and then declutter this because it's... I like the idea of this necklace, but it's not a high enough quality that I feel good wearing it, so I'm just going to replace it with something better. This necklace is really fun. I got it in Portland. I really like it. It's just some big chunky beads. It's pretty great. It's also a good length and it's very adjustable. Like, it's got a pretty good adjustability on it. This is a piece that I made a long, long time ago in a metal smithing class. So I made the chain. I just took wire and made each individual jump ring and then made a chain out of it. I made the clasp. So that's also another thing that I formed myself. And then I made the little resin pendant I'm not super proud of anymore just because it was one of the first ones I ever did like this and I definitely got better at it with time. But I, I cast the resin and I also, the rose inside of it came from my own rose garden. So my first of roses that I ever grew. So technically I made the entire necklace literally from scratch. I actually showed this piece at a student show a long, long time ago when I was in college. So I'm still pretty proud of this. I haven't worn it in forever and I would like to challenge myself to wear it more. So I have this piece. And then I just got this big old long pearl strand the other day. You guys saw me buy this. So I obviously am going to keep this, but they're just big chunky fake pearls. And I love pearls of every kind. So this will stay with me. It's also a vintage piece, so. 
I like it. Necklaces I'm keeping. Necklaces I'm getting rid of. So all we have left are my big accessories. I have my two silk scarves that I'm going to keep. And then I have a pair of wrist cuffs that I'm also going to keep, although I might add some sort of ornament to them. I haven't decided yet. And then I have a couple pairs of white gloves, keeping those. And then my only other thing is this pair of heart-shaped glasses that I got from Daiso. I think I'm going to pass these on. I don't wear them and they look, you know, like a $3 pair of glasses. So these will also be decluttered. So overall, I didn't get rid of a ton of accessories. These are all the things that I decided to declutter, but I did get rid of a large assortment of things that just stood out from the rest of my pieces and just kind of were creating that choice confusion that I have a million things, but I have nothing to wear feeling. Like all of my other piles of jewelry look pretty cohesive now that these pieces have been taken out. And that's the main goal that I was trying to achieve here. So I'm really happy that I managed to do that. So that is all for this video. I'm hoping very much that my next one will be my full 2020 wardrobe tour where I will show you how I store everything and how I hang everything. And that video will hopefully be quite exciting, but that's it for today. I hope everybody has a good day and I will see you all next time. Bye.